Hey there, folks. Greetings from New York City. I'm back in the city, yes. Beautiful weather here. And today I want to talk a little bit and uh, pull back the curtain on the AI and reveal three shocking truths that nobody's talking about. So by the end of this video, you'll understand why AI isn't taking over the world yet. And trust me, what I'm about to share might just change how you think about your future with AI. But before we dive in, let me give you a roadmap on what I want to talk about, all right? So number one, it's the AI hype train that is slowing down, okay? Uh, number two, AI is basically what it is. It's like a genie trapped in a box right now. And then the surprising twist in the AI job market, okay? Ready? Let's jump right in. So first up, um, the AI hype train, the hype cycle, maybe you've seen the Gartner hype cycle on AI is definitely slowing down. I'm actually excited about it. <clears throat> and you've seen the headlines. AI will solve everything. Well, guess what? We're entering uh, what experts call the disappointment valley. It's like when you buy something online and it's not as amazing as the ad might made it seem. All right. Now, what does that mean for you? Expect to see more articles pointing out AI's flaws. Big investors might start tightening their wallets, for instance, uh, despite the decline in overall AI private investments last year, funding for generative AI surged nearly octupling. Yes, I said that that's like eight times. It went eight times higher from 2022 to $25 billion. Um, and people will start asking, okay, but what can AI really do? I'll be honest, I got caught up in the excitement too, but hey, we're all learning here, right? Um, the second thing is AI is like a genius in a or a genius trapped in a box. And what do I mean by that? Here's the thing. AI is incredibly smart, but it's also incredibly limited in this current form. Imagine the smartest person you will know. Uh, now put them in a sealed room with no window, no doors, and that's AI right now. Okay. Why is this a problem? AI has tons of knowledge, but no real world experience. We're struggling to give AI hands and eyes to interact with the world. For example, you know, AI systems currently lack the ability to apply common sense reasoning uh, to new situations, right? And uh, getting information in and out of AI systems is sometimes trickier, trickier than you might think. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of uh, when Bluetooth first came out. We had this cool tech, but no one really knew what to do with it. Remember that? And now the third thing that I wanted to talk about is the AI job market and the surprising twist there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, I know, uh, I guess my hotel is about to blow up. Oh, great. What's going on here? Sorry about that. So um, anyway, let, let's continue here. Um, I know that you might be thinking, and so, so the job market, okay, there's an interesting twist. Um, is AI going to take my job? That's what some people were asking themselves. Well, I got some unexpected news for you. The real story here. Uh, yes, some jobs in digital art, music and advertising, copywriting and all that are definitely feeling the heat. But here's the kicker. Some companies that went all in on AI are bringing back human workers. In fact, a recent survey highlighted that many large U.S. companies are gearing up um, to implement AI to streamline tasks, but this often results in job transitions rather than outright replacements. Knowing how to work with AI is definitely becoming as crucial as knowing how to use email back in the day. All right. So according to PricewaterhouseCoopers report, um, jobs that require AI skills are on the rise and workers will need to adapt by upskilling or retraining, all right? So what does this all mean for you? The big takeaway here is that AI isn't replacing humans, it's changing how we work. And that change is happening right now. And here's what you can do. Stay curious, keep learning about AI developments. All right, so this was a fire alarm, I guess. But uh, just to finish up the video here, what you can do about all these news. Okay, first up, you can stay curious, keep learning about the AI developments because they will keep happening. Um, get heads on, okay? Try out AI tools to understand their strengths and their weaknesses. And then also try to develop complementary skills. Focus on what AI can't do just yet, all right? 
So remember, the future is coming fast and it's going to be a wild ride, I can promise you that. But now you're basically in on the secrets that most people don't know yet. And uh, before you know, you know, let me know what you think about it. Where are you in the AI hype cycle? Has it hit you yet? Have you stopped being interested in it? Uh, what's your experience there? Are you using it at work? Do you wish you would have known a little bit more about it? Drop a comment below and let's keep this conversation going. Until next time, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.